hi everybody welcome to my channel this is Nina and this is our weekly energy reading as usual we have three groups in front of us we have group number one with soda light group number two with amethyst I think in the light they look similar but they're not and group number three is clear quartz so pick the pile that you're feeling most drawn to and uh, we'll see what comes up for you in the next seven to ten days and what's the guidance as well for you all right so i'll see you in your timestamps. hi group one i'm actually going to start with um, a rune okay i want to pull out one, one rune from the rune bag okay that's a nice room to get so let me just put this aside so the room you have is called Unio and this is one of the most positive rooms to get it indicates uh, joy happiness euphoria almost okay and it's a room that bodes really well especially for relationships romance intimate partnerships and things like that so generally you're experiencing a good time in which uh, you have something to be grateful for and it also reminds you to have an optimistic frame of mind okay if you're not feeling that way so let's get started with some Lenormand cards and see what comes up for you card number one what do they need to know about the week ahead? Pile number one. We have Clover. Now that's again a great uh, card which indicates a cheerful attitude, something to be positive about, something to be optimistic about, good luck. Okay. So this is nice. Bottom of the... Sorry, bottom of the deck we have the path which indicates change and I'm actually drawn to the couple you know there's a pair here of birds and it's funny how I mentioned romance here it could be that you are receiving communication from a significant other or from someone important someone um, of significance in your life okay but in general I feel like you're re receiving something um, in terms of communication and information which is really positive in nature and it's a destined path okay we saw the path at the bottom of the deck so this feels very destined it feels quite karmic in that sense not in a negative sense it's like it's meant to be that sort of thing you know like uh, your higher self is perhaps orchestrating this so it's a really good week in which you're going to receive some positive communication uh, some stroke of luck okay and also you might find that you know with this comes this energy of serendipity you're at the right place at the right time maybe you have some discussion with somebody which sets you off on a destined path okay or you find out about something and uh, it uh, it clarifies something for you okay it shows you the way in some way so this is looking good let's start with your tarot cards the princess of pentacles the eight of pentacles looking good looking very good okay <laughs> this is definitely for most of you an opportunity that is connected to your career business finances okay all three cards indicate a growth in terms of your finances in terms of your career in terms of also your efforts paying off you know you getting some kind of a reward is what I'm seeing 
But the princess of pentacles brings with her some communication. Again, there's an emphasis here on communication. And I really love seeing that it's a princess of pentacles because that indicates it's a very tangible opportunity or a message that holds value that's going to, you know, impact uh, you in a very tangible manner. All right. All three earth energy cards. So there's an emphasis here on doing, on detail oriented work on being engrossed also in doing what you love and um, if you want to perhaps you know you're looking for a job or something send out those applications this week do not sit on them because you could really hear it's very possible that you could hear from somebody and uh, it's a prospective employer with a really solid offer okay and the ace definitely holds this potential for a brand new beginning for a new path um, and I feel like if this is uh, a job opportunity or a work opportunity this is something that you're naturally quite good at okay like you've attained some level of mastery in that so you are finding yourself at the right place at the right time meeting the right people discussing things with the right people discussing things of significance of importance which will set you off on the right path okay i don't want to uh, <laughs> to beat uh, the same you know to drum the same message but it feels like a really good opportunity is coming your way all right let's see your oracle cards and if you are actually initiating something you're sending out communication you're putting yourself out there if you're pu publishing something or putting something online I feel like things are going to take off okay sometimes the birds can literally to me mean you know social media um, the world wide web in any way and uh, um, social media platform especially Twitter okay if you want to initiate something I feel like it will be received well okay let's see your other cards door to romance number 33 which is an angel number You've got receiving and there's a letter in the box, okay. <laughs> Humility, remember to stay grounded, stay humble, stay open, okay, is what I'm getting because for some of you, you might need to work in partnership with other people, you might need to, uh, there is perhaps like back and forth communication, stay humble and grounded in that sense because there's a need here for cooperation and humility okay let's see we've got imagine number 20 and chaos and conflict okay so this is for a very few percentage of you um, what I like about this card is there's a revelation that takes place because this is actually a zebra with um, you know sort of pretending to be a giraffe which creates conflict doesn't it and I'm noticing this is again a number 33 33 33 so you might be seeing 333 a lot and threes to me are very significant in terms of creativity uh, communication which is a big highlight for you this week and uh, growth and expansion okay and what i'm seeing through this card as well is this idea of expansion of growth outgrowing this old persona that you were putting on you know uh, maybe to survive to please other people or maybe you were doing something that you didn't really like and that created this, this sense of inner conflict now you're getting rid of that okay you're freeing yourself from that old old man as Neville Goddard would call it okay and you're becoming this new person for whom everything is possible because you're opening up to this idea that your manifestations are here okay and that you can imagine everything into being whether that is success prosperity growth in in terms of abundance 
growth in terms of relationships or a new relationship the idea here is to be open okay and i'm speaking about being open also because here the heart is within a cage and it's got a keyhole there and which suggests to me that the key is in your hands okay which is why you got this card here of receptivity of receiving i open up and allow myself to receive love in all ways okay so it's not just romantic love it could be platonic love it could be somebody trying to help you somebody trying to mentor you in some way someone who's really wise and an old soul and that's also perhaps where this humility needs to be uh, adopted okay um if you're someone who likes to do things by themselves and they they not really uh, and i am quite guilty of this as well you are you know you feel shy to maybe ask for help or to just be open for help or to open to be open for uh, a leg up in some way support kindness you know um and really tangible offers as well it's important for you to stay open okay um it may seem scary but it's better than receiving audits bed bugs or hate mail i receive love and i feel so good that i decide to receive it some more and then some more and maybe just a wee bit more isn't that a nice message and humility i take a deep breath and release all of my desire to be right without right what's left a soft and pliable version of me that is willing to make mistakes hear other people's opinions and try doing stuff in a different way in other words i get to take a pretty sweet all inclusive brain vacation i feel like that's where this message comes in um releasing that inner conflict okay and uh releasing that old skin you could say we are in the energy of the total lunar eclipse in scorpio which is all about death and rebirth so this is a really nice new opening for you um someone's or something is bringing you a lot of joy just stay open imagine the best the best outcome do not fear rejection or anything like that that's the old self that you want to shed okay that's short and sweet i'm going to leave this here and i'm wishing you all the very best have a lovely week ahead uh, do take care of yourself and i'll see you again later bye bye hi group 2 for those of you who've chosen this amethyst i'm going to start by pulling out one rune for you to give us an overall energy for the week and we have the rune of lagoos okay this is nice this suggests to me that you're very much in this energy of flow okay being in the flow being open being in a state of receptivity uh whether it is to new ideas new connections it's a very watery energy as well which talks about being in touch with your intuition so you are likely to get a lot of inspiration ideas um receiving you know downloads perhaps so a lot of this flow energy is going to impact you in this upcoming week and i'm also seeing that if things have been kind of stuck for you this is a week where they start to flow but it's important to sort of allow things to happen things to um to be guided okay allow yourself to be guided and allow things to unfold gradually also i'm seeing that you as i mentioned it does talk about intuition so your psychic abilities could be really heightened at this time so pay attention to the ideas and thoughts you're getting because they are not random okay let's see what the norman has in store for you group number 2 wow this came up for the first group as well what a good start what a good start okay we have the mountain 
and we have the home. Bottom of the deck we have the bouquet. So the mountain again is suggesting that you kind of need to take it slow and remain steadfast. Okay, whatever it is that you're doing, take your time with it. This is not the week for you to rush because you're either building a strong foundation for a business or a job or some kind of work or you're enjoying the strong foundation that you have okay so this is a week where things are going a bit slow but they are steady and you need to remain steadfast remain optimistic and cheerful and enjoy what you have built for yourself is what I'm hearing okay enjoy the comfort that you have built for yourself or that you already have because this is a really good week to be creative to be in a cheerful optimistic uh, frame of mind which can actually overcome also any sort of obstacles or challenges that come your way for some of you this could be a place abroad a literal place okay which you may be enjoying either abroad or far off maybe you're going to the mountains okay um, either way this is a really cozy and comfortable energy okay in which this slow but steady progress okay let's see in terms of your tarot cards six of swords okay so you could be traveling okay some of you could be traveling seven of swords all right and the two of cups how nice and i'm noticing there are butterflies in this card which indicate transformation some of you could actually be going on a getaway with someone you love it doesn't have to be romantic but it could be um, or you're enjoying some quiet time you know downtime uh, I'm getting this strong feeling of getting away pulling away or kind of like you know enjoying the company of somebody that you love but uh, without anybody else knowing it's a very quiet and kind of secretive energy is what I'm picking up There's, I'm not getting a negative vibe from the seven of swords yes if you're dealing with somebody new you know you might want to play your cards close to your chest you don't want to give in all the information at once maybe you're getting to know somebody at a deeper level the clover can also indicate um, along with this bouquet it can indicate to me flirtation okay maybe you're getting to know somebody um, maybe you meet somebody when you're on a getaway or you're on a vacation and this person is perhaps you know from uh, a different location they are from a distance um, so you may be playing your cards close to your chest and also in terms of relationships the seven of swords can mean that you don't know too much about this person yet so you're trying to get to know them okay and at the same time you don't you're not really revealing too much of yourself either so it's a very interesting um, energy to be in but I really like seeing the six of swords and uh, all of these cards actually because it's telling me that you're really enjoying the company of someone or doing something that you love in almost a secret sort of way okay let's see other cards I'm curious about this we have between worlds number three so this is the energy of transition and so is the six of swords mending number 52 we have man holding a heart okay so some of you could actually be wow this does seem romantic okay I mean I don't usually stress on that but it could be romantic this could be someone that you're 
you're patching up with but you're a little bit hesitant with the seven of swords there could be a few doubts you know you maybe there are some trust issues here so your relationship is going through a transition it's you know in the in-between stage so you haven't completely let go of the past but you're en route to the new okay so you're in transition and you're beginning to perhaps move on from the past if it's been painful or if it's been maybe you had some altercation or something went down and there's a, a coming back together there's a union now with the two of cups and mending and you are seeing each other differently and it's a it's a coming together of two souls okay and uh, the idea here is to remain steadfast and go with the flow yeah listen to your intuition and uh, allow be receptive let's see other cards resilience that's the mountain energy and acceptance when I get to know new people I accept their actual traits rather than the ones I project on them same goes for not new people I already know acceptance is the delicate art that reminds us every everyone is their own unique self and we can't expect them to ever be anything but man how do these snowflakes do it okay so each snowflake here is unique and that's what this card speaks about accepting somebody for their uniqueness for um who they are rather than what you want them to be which is a projection and it's funny like in this card this uh i think it's a squirrel um, is uh, camping okay I do feel like there's a strong energy here of a getaway or a vacation or uh, visiting a place that you don't know much about in order to get to know this person better or maybe you meet them there and it's a serendipitous meeting and um, you give them a chance okay either romantically or it could be friendship as well either way there is a strong emphasis on a connection on a getting to know of another person and uh, allowance acceptance forgiveness and allowing this transition to take place moving from one phase to another or from darkness to light or from uh, not knowing to knowing okay in case of a relationship it's a really good week i'm wishing you all the best i'm keeping it short and sweet i hope this helps and i hope you have a fabulous week ahead do take care of yourself and i'll see you again later hi group three for those of you who've chosen this clear quartz i'm gonna pull out one rune firstly to get an overall theme for you okay oh wow so we get the rune of sovilo which is the energy of the sun it's a warm cozy joyous beautiful energy um, a bouncing back energy okay bouncing back from lethargy bouncing back from not feeling motivated to now feeling revitalized feeling energetic it's an all-round wonderful energy to be in and to have surrounding you okay in which things like become possible they become really possible uh, just like the energy of the Sun illuminating and uplifting okay all right let's see in terms of Lenormand what do we have for you group number I wanted to say one maybe you were drawn to one as well group number three what do we need to know for group number three something flipped okay can't see it what do we need to know for group number three all 
Okay, we have the garden. Have the garden. We have the ring. Let's get one more. The letter. Bottom of the deck, we have the clouds. Okay. The clouds can be a little bit, you know, um, confusing and a little bit anxious, that sort of energy. What we have here is the garden, the ring, and the letter. So there's obviously, obviously some important <laughs> communication coming through. And I'm uh, struggling a bit with communication thanks to Mercury retrograde. Um, there's a perhaps an invitation from someone you know, could be a relative, could be uh, a love interest. There's a definite emphasis on a relationship here. And this offer, this invitation comes from them. And this invitation is to meet, meet and greet, dine and wine or, you know, have a good time. Maybe it's an invitation for an event or, yeah, that sort of a thing, okay? Because there is an important meeting, important communication. Uh, this is a very social energy as well. You could be meeting certain important people about a contract, about a collaboration about a commitment okay or simply uh, important communication with people who are who you're committed to okay in a relationship sense all right so speaking of commitment oh my god so much of commitment in this reading we have the hierophant the two of wands okay so travel could be on the cards and the knight of pentacles so the knight of pentacles is bringing with him some kind of offer and this is earth energy and so is the hierophant there's an emphasis here on something tangible coming your way okay uh, this could literally be a contract that you are signing okay and there's some important discussion happening regarding that Maybe you're joining a new company, maybe you are committing to somebody in a relationship sense, okay. Maybe there's an engagement because this could literally mean an engagement party, okay. An event of some sorts, uh, a celebration perhaps of uh, you tying the knot with somebody or getting engaged, okay. If that's the case, well, con congratulations. <laughs> But I am seeing a really good, slow and steady energy here with the Knight of Pentacles and the Hierophant heading towards some kind of deepening of a commitment or committing to something that you really love, okay? Um, with the Two of Wands, they, I'm basically getting that you're, you're planning, okay? You're planning a lot about how to take things forward let's say you get an opportunity or you're signing a contract that takes you somewhere else maybe it involves travel uh, with the two of wands there you're in this stage of planning you're putting in those steps you know uh, sort of uh, checking the in the in your to-do list the things that you need to do okay like applying here getting so and so sorted getting your ducks in a row basically all right that's the energy that i'm getting here so it's a really good week in which things start to progress to a more committed and serious level whether that is with an organization or with um or you get an opportunity to uh, have an interview with someone or you sign the dotted line or you celebrate the commit your commitment with a person this is slow and steady and good progress okay let's start with the oracle cards regeneration number 46 which boils down to 10 so that's a ending and a new beginning 
truth be told number 14 we have death and we have ownership i take ownership for how i make others feel and i do my part to repair any bridges i might have burned or perhaps even lightly singed if bridge mending feels impossible then i can start small instead of becoming a bridge architect maybe i'll just skip the bridge and walk the long way around taking ownership is great for burning calories there are two things here okay if this is a relationship then yes this is a commitment that has gone through its own phases you know of maybe doubt maybe indecision maybe um you've needed to forgive each other you've needed to um heal from certain things okay together this is the week where you have that honest conversation i feel with each other on how to make things work okay and how to create the future that tangible solid committed future that you both want all right so that's the rebirth that is taking place of this uh connection on the back of truth okay with the foundation of truth and honesty with each other being really honest with each other knowing where both of you stand and if this is not about a relationship if it's about a commitment uh again the idea here is to show up to do the work to do what is required of you to take responsibility and ownership and that comes with any sort of commitment right and um to release judgment is what i'm getting okay maybe your past experiences with uh people have uh left you feeling doubtful or whatever but this uh is asking you to bring to life that part of you which was trusting okay which was more open is what i'm getting open hearted okay if that makes sense um looking at uh, a situation going beyond the surface and looking at the situation the commitment from a broader perspective and with in all of its glory okay um basically not looking for instant gratification that's not what something the nine of the knight of pentacles does okay he is definitely in for the long haul so the idea here is to not judge a book by its cover or to not judge something that you're getting into by just what you see in the immediate uh circumstance okay we have wow so we have a book here again maybe your mentoring as well or some of you could be meeting somebody who is like a mentor a guide okay and i get the feeling like this has something to do with a place uh which is at a distance from you or it could be abroad as well seven chakra archangel uriel you you're getting a lot of insight okay this is all about inspiration and insight coming through your crown chakra um and clarity all right that's being in tune with your higher self getting the insight the illumination the um the clarity that you're seeking all right so I also feel like this has something to do with learning with teaching with um growth of you as a person is what I'm getting okay and if this is about a relationship I feel like this is a a spiritual connection in which you're meant to 
you know, come closer to each other and teach and learn with each other. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Take it as it resonates, but the idea is that there's a lot more to uncover with this person or with this commitment than you realize now. So the, um, the advice is to be open, to open your heart to it and to be honest and uh, yeah to set forth into the uh, onto this new path with this wonderful new beginning or new phase or new commitment that you may be getting into and do your research if it's required if you feel like you need to find out more okay um, to your research but yes your intuition is going to guide you anyway all right so I'm wishing you all the best. I'm keeping this short. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. All three readings have been fabulous. And I hope uh, this has helped you in some way. Do take care of yourself. And I'll see you again later. Bye-bye.